Daddy Derek. I knew someday we'd meet again. Well, actually, I kind of debated whether or not I was even going to do this one. I mean, it's already been done by plenty of people, and uh, also there's just not that much to say about it, but I thought I'd make an interesting Patreon goal, and apparently it worked, because you guys keep breaking these Patreon goals, so uh, I'll come up with some new ones for you. Keep it up. Thank you very much. As for you, Derek, let's do this damn thing. There were some movies, terrible movies, movies so awful, no one would touch. Then came a Matthew, sad little Matthew, Matthew decided these movies to watch. For every good movie, there's at least ten bad, Matthew gonna drag himself through the crap to find the worst ones there are to be had. Today's episode, Gun Self-Defense for Ladies. <sighs> Hello, cool catters. I'm Daddy Maddie. Please don't ever call me Daddy Maddie. This was a bad intro. I, I have guaranteed someone is going to call me that. Oh, God. Uh, you ever watch Cool Cat and think, yeah, I trust that guy with deadly firearms? So, Daddy Derek is an odd man, he's the type who sees a problem and goes, I can solve this. Which I guess is noble, his heart is in the right place, but if you want to solve a problem, you should really know the first goddamn thing about it. I do not believe Derek was ever bullied before he made Cool Cat, and he was definitely never cyberbullied. So does Derek know about gun safety? Well, we'll talk about it. On the other hand, Derek Savage allegedly has a criminal record for possession of an unregistered machine gun. So that's fun. Links in the down there part for evidence. But regardless of what he knew going in, he was prepared to make a movie to teach people gun self-defense because he was so concerned with all the shootings that keep happening. The end result is gun self-defense for ladies. And men, too. Because as we all know... Non-binary people must study the blade. Or more than likely old school conservative daddy Derek doesn't know or care about them. Also for some reason my computer thinks this is a cool cat DVD. So let's just dive right into this thing. I'm interested to see how a review of a documentary is gonna go. This is Daddy Derek's Gun Self-Defense for Ladies. Or Gun Self-Defense for Women. He, he seems indecisive on which title it is. So we open on a woman getting attacked, and we already have audio issues. Hey, you to me! What did that guy even say before he started peaking the audio? But don't worry, Derek Savage is going to interrupt this scene 12 seconds in. Well, hey guys, I'll tell you what, we got a special treat today. Derek, I don't think any part of this movie is a special treat. Either this is essential information for women, or it's just fear-mongering. I'll give you a hint, it's not important information for women. I'd opened up my car door, and I leaned down to the passenger side to grab my purse. And some- I just felt arms around my waist trying to pull me out of my car. Ah, uh, that was just Derek recruiting for this movie. I probably shouldn't joke, this woman had an actual real-life incident. And Derek is gonna use that story to fuel his Pew Pew America movie. I mean, I guess she agreed to be in it, but still, it seems gross to get a woman to relive her trauma on camera just to push your agenda. Although, I'll be honest, I don't know if I trust Derek not to fabricate something like that. Like, benefit of the doubt, we'll assume all the stories in this film are true. I'm just saying, if it turns out one of them isn't, I wouldn't be shocked. So what could be happening to her right now? She could be kidnapped, she could be raped, you fill in that blank right there. I choose to fill in the blank with the man actually being her husband coming up to give her a hug. It was all a misunderstanding, and now they live happily ever after. Hey, pro tip me to you, don't leave guns lying on your car seat. In a purse or in the glove box would probably be best. And then Derek goes full boomer social media on us by just reading the titles of articles and sharing them based solely on that. In this documentary. He even includes the hollow boomer complaining. 
What is happening nowadays? With new horror stories happening every day, how can you be safe? He doesn't even cite any hard evidence, just anecdotal stuff. Although I'm not sure hard evidence would even help him because I'm not sure what his position is outside of you should have a gun. And this is sort of the crux of the movie. Like I said, Derek is one of those guys who will see a problem and go, yes, I personally can fix this. But uh, a lot of this is fueled by uninformed fear-mongering. And not that bad shit doesn't happen, or that women shouldn't find a way to defend themselves. It's just that Derek is not informed enough on the situation to accurately articulate the problems. Ha ha! It is me, Evil Matt, come to claim my place as a recurring character. Undone by Derek Savage. Hi, I'm Derek Savage, and welcome to Black Gun Power. Crime rate is rising significantly throughout the country. False! Crime rates have continued to drop since the early 90s. Although, there was a slight bump around 2016. Please, do your research, Derek. Also, he never mentions any alternatives to just arming women. It's like this is the one and only solution to America's crime problems. And whether or not you agree with that is irrelevant. Differing opinions exist. You should acknowledge them, at the very least to explain why you think they're inadequate. Plus, I used to work in the machine gun business. Yeah man, machine gun business. I am sick and tired of always seeing articles about women being attacked and being abused. So stop looking up those articles. And here's thing number two that doesn't work. Derek spends a lot of time on gun safety. Now, none of it is bad advice. It's all actual gun safety. Is he a massive hypocrite? Yes. Always keep your gun pointed in a safe direction. Keep your finger off of the trigger. If you got a clip in it, in real life, that's all Hollywood. That's fake right there. But if you do as he says and not as he does, it is correct advice. The problem is, Derek spends a lot of time advocating for concealed carry license, and all the safety tips he gives are like, Gun Safety 101. If you have a concealed carry license, you already know everything he says. Maybe this would be helpful for personal gun use? Like, the gun you keep next to your bed? But if you're carrying it around, you should already know this. He also says he's gonna teach us how to clean our weapons. From loading your weapon, cleaning your weapon. Something he never does? And there are definitely gun safety videos that don't include shit like this. Or that can edit. It's time to go on with the project. You use the default transition and cut off the end of your own sentence. Derek may know a thing or two about guns, but he is no filmmaker. And who else would Derek invite to be in his movie but a conservative talk show host? I looked this lady up and I just have to show you this. She has a photo on her Facebook page of her mask covered in duct tape. Lady, y you know how a mask works, right? You have to be able to breathe through it? Is this why conservatives are having a hard time breathing in their masks? Because they put duct tape all over it? Absolutely, I think women are crazy not to have a gun somewhere. Yeah, totally crazy that someone wouldn't want the risk or responsibility that comes with owning a gun. Look, I'm not against you owning a gun. I own a gun. But I'm very against implying that everyone should always be carrying a gun at all times, which seems to be the message of this movie. And then just to contradict itself, she tells the story of a waitress who defended herself without a gun. And that's very important. Um, today we have a special treat. Jesus, Derek, even Cool Cat had better editing than this. 
It's the same editor, I checked, so why is it this awful? It's a documentary, it should be easier to edit. Be prepared on their own, not rely on someone else, and definitely not rely on the police. Hell yeah, fuck the cops. Myself, I am very, very much pro-police. God damn it, Derek. And this green screen is super disorienting. We're at the Las Vegas Gun Show today, and the reason why I wanted to put a gun show in the project is just to show you that they're not the big bad wolf that the media portrays them to be. In fact, I always see a lot of families here, a lot of kids. Well, gee, Derek, maybe people have perfectly legitimate reasons for not liking gun shows. Maybe you could do the slightest bit of research. At the very least, just so you could refute the claims made by those who don't like gun shows. Instead of just going, ah, there's kids here, don't worry about it. Uh, incidentally, here's a Wikipedia article about the gun show loophole. About how people who couldn't pass criminal background checks to get guns can still buy them at gun shows. All I had to do to find this was Google the words... Gun show dangerous. It was that easy. Not that I'm sure Derek knows anything about illegally owning firearms. But look guys, you can buy things that aren't guns. So who cares if they're selling guns to dangerous people? Jesus Derek, your trigger discipline is awful. And if that level of advertising wasn't pandering enough, the next scene is literally an infomercial. For, get this, non-lethal self-defense weapons. You know, like tasers and pepper spray. Kinda seems like women can defend themselves without a gun. The green void is still throwing me off, though. Maybe if the camera guy would quit moving around. This looks like... <laughs> <laughs> a bad boy. I mean, if it, wanted, it does. if it wanted pink, this would be rather intimidating. <laughs> what do you mean intimidating? I keep one of those in my sock drawer. Oh, it's a taser. My bad. I, I don't have one of those. I also don't have a sock drawer, so not sure where I was going with this joke. And then we get this hilarious dramatization. Give me the money! Hey, back up! I think we got the point, Derek. We didn't need that. And then Derek stops the movie dead to advertise Cool Cat. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Uh, yeah, Derek has been torn apart for this by every critic of the film. It's just so tasteless. And now, after using his short film to pad two different movies, Derek uses Cool Cat to pad one more movie. We're sure! Wow! Now you know why Cool Cat's a cool black power the world. Now it's time to get back to our film, and that is gun self-defense. Black power. Movies. And then Derek takes us to a karate dojo for more ways to defend yourself without a gun. Derek, do you listen to yourself ever? Also, the audio mixing is terrible. This whole scene is way quieter than the rest of the movie. Yes, come on in and, and, and have a good time. Come on in. Mr. Jack Sifu, come on over here, please. This is Sifu Jack Soderberg. What's Sifu? Maybe it's like tofu, only saltier. And there is two full minutes of women hitting a dummy. Like, there's some decent self-defense advice in here, but it's also a lot of padding. And it has nothing to do with guns. And then Derek gives us the great advice of, if someone breaks into your house, Get your gun. Thanks, I never would have thought of that. And then he contradicts himself by telling us that one time he thought someone broke in, but it was just his friend. And if you're not careful, you might shoot someone you care about. Gee, Derek, maybe having a gun is a big responsibility that not everyone is prepared for. I see a cool cat loves you shirt on that cat, so I know he's a friend right there. Wait, having a cool cat shirt means you're a good guy? Do you guys want to get some cool cat t-shirts and go rob Derek's place? Actually, never mind. He doesn't have anything worth stealing. And then Derek has an interview in front of this Las Vegas cutout he stole from the local high school prom. And Derek just straight up steals a joke someone already said in this movie. Because when seconds count, police are usually minutes away. It's because when seconds count, 
The police are minutes away. Luckily, I would never steal jokes from someone else. Derek Savage states that he believes that all senior citizens should carry a gun. He's very clearly never driven in the state of Florida, or he would understand why that is literally the worst idea he's ever had. What? That was my joke. Obviously, I was the one who wrote and performed that. Then we get this lady talking to herself. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. With cool cat posters, and also a poster for this very movie. Like, I get it when it's behind Derek, but this is a dramatization, right? She answers the door without seeing who it is when Daddy Derek yells cut, and you know what that means. Let me you go! You wanna get a good scene? Yeah, go ahead. Watch... Watch some... Huh? Watch... Actually, it means Derek thinks you should be more careful answering the door. But Derek, you don't need a gun for that. You see, there's this radical new invention called... A peephole. So you can see who's outside, and if it's not someone you want to talk to, you can just lock the door and walk away. Oh, I mean, I have an appointment with your husband. Is he home? Oh yeah, my husband's right here. Her husband is a gun. So Derek takes some people out shooting, and we get this. No, look, I'm not into the ad hominem attacks. If someone has something legitimate to say, it shouldn't matter if they made Cool Cat, right? But when I say I don't want to watch a gun safety video from the guy who made Cool Cat, I'm talking about this. Derek just stroking his own ego. Derek loves showing off. He shows off his guns, he shows off his shooting, just like he showed off his motorcycle or his Van Halen guitar. This is as much about ego as it is anything else. And then... Knife fighting! And yes, this is also about ego. Because he gives zero solid advice about knife fighting. He just wiggles the knife around. The only thing you're likely to learn is to cover your neck to keep knives away from it. Derek doesn't actually say that, but he does do it. So now I guess it's do as he does, not as he says. This is a day that I have been looking forward to for a long, long time. And that's because this is Black CCW Pal. Day, the Concealed Weapons Permit. So yeah, here Derek is getting his concealed carry license. And that's most of the rest of the film. Seems weird to put that at the end. Seems like you've spent all this time preaching about concealed carry without having one yourself. And then he gives an interview using one clip-on mic. And then, almost just to contradict himself one last time, this lady he talks to talks about how carrying a gun is a big responsibility, and maybe not everyone is ready to do it. That's what a lot of people don't realize. A gun is a major thing to have. It's a, and it's a commitment. It's, it's a what commitment. it is. It's and if a you are not mentally ready, you're going to be carrying a CCW or open carry, and you're not mentally ready to use that gun to defend yourself, it's going to harm you because somebody may be and grab it out. And finally, he teaches us how to Google where to get our concealed carry license. Thanks, Derek. You want to try Googling some evidence for the arguments you've made so far? And then he gets delivered a letter right to his door instead of, like, a mailbox by a mailman we never see. Oh hey, I have that lamp. And he ends with the Cool Cat song? Oh, oh, nope. Hey! He ends it with him running around firing guns like a maniac. The only appropriate ending. And that's gun self-defense for ladies. What did you expect? What is the point of this movie? Is it to convince people, particularly women, to get guns? If so, Derek should have cited some sources, and I don't mean a few anecdotal sensationalist stories. The crime rate will never be zero. You will always be able to find a handful of these stories. 
And furthermore, no evidence is brought up to show how more guns would be a solution. Do some research, back up your arguments, bring up counter-arguments to disprove them. Is this... a gun safety video? Why is the gun safety stuff so surface level? Why is there so much shit in there that has nothing to do with guns? Is this just a regular self-defense video? I mean, it's called gun self-defense. There's not much gun self-defense to it because gun self-defense is pretty self-explanatory. You point the gun at someone, it, it's not rocket science. So this film has tons of other self-defense instructions like karate and tasers. I think that's probably what it does best, but that's a low bar. There are much more in-depth resources for that. Or is this just a stroke daddy Derek's ego? Because it sure does that well. This is the feature-length version of your boomer-ass grandpa's Facebook post. Just getting vaguely mad about... something, and then going, I like my guns. America. Pew pew. It's worth a couple laughs, especially if you're a Derek Savage fan like I am, but it's certainly no cool cat. And finally, I'd like to say thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. I know $50 a month doesn't seem like much, but when every piece of technology you own stops working all at once, it's nice to have that little bump right at the end of the month. Uh, I'd also like to thank my friend John of Homeless Movies for the clips he provided for this video, uh, even though it was my joke. I wrote it and I performed it. It's, it's my joke. Um... If you like this video, I have tons of cool cat content. Obviously, there's Cool Cat Kid Superhero, where I go over the differences between Cool Cat Kid Superhero and the original Cool Cat Saves the Kids. And uh, until next time, this is Matt's Funtime Bad Movie Show. Cool cat's the coolest cat in the world. But at least now I know how to use this. <laughs> Jesus, fuck that's loud. Oh, I shot myself in the foot. Oh god, and there goes the camera. Ah, oh ah. Mm. Okay, hold on. I'm putting the gun down. God. Damn. Okay, I need an ambulance. <laughs>